Hello and happy Halloween. Yeah, yay. yay. When, now the holidays Halloween. begin. Yep. Yes, this is this is it for my decorations in my house. <laughs> yeah. I have a pumpkin on my table and that's it. Yeah. I decorate well, myself more like than my that too. Yeah, we are. We're like with a lot in a lot of ways. Yeah, <laughs> so welcome back to Lydia's Kitchen. Today we're going to make cashew cream. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing we're gonna make. And we're gonna make it for uh, gluten free, dairy free lasagna. So, the first hey. thing we're going to do is, I'm trying to think, I think the first thing we'll do is maybe chop up the veggies and start getting them to soften up a little bit. So Put while to work. Yeah. So while Terry's doing okay. that, I have ground turkey breast over here and um, an onion. So I'm going to saute that because I thought we could make some variations, different variations. So different kinds of lasagnas? Or yeah. Do, okay. So and then the other thing is I've got these little mini containers. Two little pans. Yeah, so we can make yeah. like mini mm. ones, which could be nice. really wonderful if you are giving it as a gift, a lasagna oh, as a yeah. gift. Oh, right. yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So we have those, and I have more. So we're just going to see how much our ingredients, la how long they last. So and I'm how do get you want you. these vegetables um, cut up? What's you, the why purpose you, of it? Why don't you cut them in them. half again? Okay. Okay. And I'm going to get you a pan. Alrighty. Um, and so the vegetables go where within the lasagna? In the cream, in the sauce, or so as a layer? How I does think that what work? we'll do is a layer. Okay. We'll do a layer. Because when nice. I typically make a vegetable lasagna, mm, I'll layer. So Sometimes I layer it this way, so I make them oh, long. long. Which you could do yeah. with this one if you want. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Really, it doesn't matter once it's Are in there. Are these going to go in the pan? Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm going to cut them one more Easy time, enough. though. Oh, that's right. You told me that. <laughs> that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm just excited to get it started. No, that's okay. Food, yeah. feed me. See yeah. more. So I'm going to get a little bit of oil into this pan. Um, so what kind of oil? Does it matter what kind yeah, of oil you use? Yeah, just about to say use? that. Okay, so sorry. we're going to use some olive oil. Okay. And the reason that we can use olive oil is because it's not going to be cooked at a high temperature. Even though it looks like oh. I have this at a high temperature, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's okay. I'm going so, to turn, turn it down. I don't get how that works. What kind of oils do so, what? So an olive oil, you really, like, is great for sautéing. It really is okay. good for sautéing. Put a little bit more in. Um, but when you want to, like, fry chicken or mm -hmm. deep fry something, you yep. never would want to use olive oil because it doesn't, because it will burn. So Ooh, they call it, like, a, a high smoke okay. level. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, and then so you would use a vegetable oil? Yep. Okay. A vegetable oil. I have this oil would be okay to use, which is grapeseed. Do you ever oh, use yeah. Grape I seed? use that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Where's I this get it from, at the I same wonder. place, too, actually. <laughs> Trader Joe. <laughs> Love that, come that place. So at this point, with my meat, I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to add a little bit of um, dehydrated onion to add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And there's a little bit of garlic in there as well. I'm going to add a little bit more powder. There's there's uh, chopped up gar um, garlic. So we kind of watch that because that can burn. But I have it on top of the turkey. Yeah. So that's turkey. a ground turkey. Is that like all dark meat? or No, is it it's all mixture? white. All white. Okay. So if you wanted to make this on the leaner side, yeah, I was just gonna say it really works. Yeah. You can actually make a lean lasagna. Yeah, that's um, nice. So we're going to keep going with that. We'll let it get brown. Turn it up just a little bit. And then I want to show you some of the other things I made. So yesterday I made a homemade Tomato sauce, oh, homemade, which is right no here. <gasps> of course, it's homemade. Oh, my and goodness. And I wanted to tell you that I had preserved my tomatoes from the garden, oh. and those are in there. Uh, this is so simple. And basil. I, like, and sometimes I'll think, oh, I should just go buy a sauce. But then I think, this is so simple. I, I sauteed onion, and I put the tomatoes in there, and then I used an emergent blender, push it down. Oh, and yeah. And then I just added whatever I added. Um, basil. It looks like basil. they have something green in yep. there. That's okay. basil. Onion. I actually am growing some basil inside. Onion, onion oh, was sautéed too. Okay. Um, oregano, of course. 
So, and, I, and it's fine to keep this cold. Like now it's, it's cold, so, but we can still use it as one of our layers. And then what we can do is separate it for meat and veggies. Okay. So we'll maybe put, Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Yeah. And so let's go back to the basil. So the basil that you're growing in here, yeah. is that something you pulled out of your garden? You know or what? Did I you didn't. Do that? Is that special? You bought it special for here? I actually Inside. bought a, a basil plant, another basil plant, nice. because um, my stuff in the garden was so big, it was a big pot. Yes, mine too. So yep. it was hard to, yeah. you know, to bring in the house. I thought about it, but neither, I had it in two different places, and neither one really worked. And it, it seems to grow back next year. Mine mm. do. It does? Yeah. I have never it had basil. It reseeds itself. Really? At least the Thai basil does. Oh, all my basil does. Wow. And I just keep it in that in the pot, in the pot that I originally grew it in. Uh -huh. Grew it. God, what am I saying? Um, and then it just comes back the next year. Great. I, how do you want these mushrooms done? Um, like that or thinner? You know what? Let's or? let's start putting these in. Okay. Here, with, uh, here's my favorite way to do it. You can just cut the mushrooms just like that. We're not picky. Okay. Just it's just easy and and. You don't have to be. No, nope. uh, nothing has to be precise. It, about it's it. okay, all good. inside of a big lasagna piece. So we're gonna start those. Awesome. Um, I want to show you some of my alternative cheeses. Now I do have a cheese from Myers. Um, that's not that a is, regular is a regular milk cheese. dairy. Okay, dairy cheese. And then I and then I have a couple of alternative cheeses. Uh, Terry just told me about a cashew cheese. Mm -hmm. Where do you get that? Actually, I um, my grocery store in Ortonville, Beakey's. Oh, okay. So I guess just a regular grocery well, store, but I'm I've sure. also gotten it at Trader Joe's. Okay, and I got these at Trader Joe's. So you can get anything there. <laughs> smells very much like parm. Yeah. And then does. this one's just pretty mild, like a mozzarella cheese. So and, and it's made out of what? Um, that's a really good question. One's an almond, right? I was going to get my glasses. Oh, <laughs> here, let me read. You can read it. I can't see <laughs> it. Yep, this one's made out of almond base. Okay. And this is a modified potato and coconut oil. Wow. So they're both really healthy for you yeah. besides. Not bad. I definitely ate cheese and dairy my whole life until about three years ago and then became allergic. Oh. And it was devastating at first until I found all these. I, so I didn't know really that. I missed all the cheese flavor in my cooking until I found these. And so they you're really not eating any dairy at all? Oh, I cheat, but then I suffer for it. But gotcha. um, yeah, no, I try to stay away from it. <laughs> oh yeah, I ate a lot of cheese you at your Christmas did. party. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Connie cooks for us at Christmas time. Oh we really? Have an office party and Connie cooks, and I, Didn't I know that. everything I asked for was cheese based. I think. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, we had ice cream too. Well, this might be something nice to bring to your Christmas oh, party. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's yeah, really you know. just a matter of getting it together. Um, see, now this is already done because it's white meat. I think it cooks up super Faster. fast. Right. I just make sure there's no pink left. Sure, with when turkey. I cook it. Yeah. Um, and that's just a regular ground turkey, right? Instead. Well, turkey breast. So, do you have to add? Um, Butter or oil or anything. I added to oil it. to this. A bit of oil. And I am gonna add some oregano mm -hmm. to this. Although I'll tell you what, I don't. I usually don't add a whole bunch to this to flavor it because we're gonna mix some sauce in with it. Oh, and which already has the oregano, right? Yeah, that one has okay. all the spices and everything. So this over here is our veggies sautéing. A nice sizzle. You know it's working when you hear the sizzle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of, will you, what do you think you're going to want? Or are you going to just try both? Oh, yeah, everything. She'll all try it above. all. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want to do anything that somebody doesn't want or like or allergic. Anything. Or, okay, so we're going to just add the sauce here to this. Um, and then I wanted to talk about what I got for gluten-free. So, not every store is going to have gluten-free lasagna. No, um, it's okay. I no. bought this one. And I haven't seen this one at a lot of stores. However, I, this is where I got this was um, Vincent Joe's. Oh, yeah. I think sure. that Myers might have a gluten-free lasagna. 
So you know you, have to who, shop around. Um, you can also get a gluten free mm -hmm. palmieri lasagna online. Mm. And palmieri is a, a root, um, bamboo root. Oh. Some kind of fruit I mean some kind of organic root. And it tastes just like pasta. I've had their when I was trying to lose weight at one point, um, I've had their spaghetti uh -huh. and something else. Uh, it tastes just like pasta. Nice. No, yeah. I've never had so that. So it's really um, low calorie, too. Whenever you're ready with the mushrooms. I've got mushrooms and I've got these um, uh, zucchini okay. slices, right? Yeah. Want those Lucchini. Like Lucchini. Is that what oh, you said? It could be. Noodle kinis. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were making a pun on lasagna. Oh, uh, look, uh, look, you just I did. I was. Yeah. I did that. I you it. just invented something. <laughs> I did, Lucchini noodles. Um, yeah, so this will be nice for. It smells so good in here, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It smells delicious. Can't even believe it's it. Delicious. It's so, it smells lovely in here. Yeah. So back to our <laughs> lovely pasta noodles. So I did boil these, and guess what? They were all whole when they went in, but hmm. Oops. They came out, but you know what? With it lasagna, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's it so doesn't matter. It doesn't. So what I typically do. So again, we're gonna make little tiny lasagnas. lasagnas. So we can make this is on the outside, just so you know. <laughs> Looks like it's on oh. the inside. <laughs> um, I usually add a little bit of sauce. You want to just, like, just okay. like this is. Yep. I'll show you how much I put in. I really just I don't put much at all. Just Yeah, just. Okay. You wanna do that? Uh huh. Yep. And then we'll, whoop, whoop, got it. Got it. And then we're just going to take these and put these on the bottom. Again, it, seriously, no one's ever going to go, where is my strip of lasagna? <laughs> right, I want it in a strip, please. Right, even okay, if you're doing so it as a gift. You made, so if, if you have like um, just a can of tomatoes at home, you take the, you can throw some onion and oh, some yeah. spice. Yep. You know, it doesn't have to be like fresh tomatoes nope. or what you've canned. You can just nope. get a can of tomatoes. And or you can get a can of so sauce, good. too. Mm. Yeah. So right. anything will like work. Um, again, and this can be ground beef, of course. You could do ground pork with it, ground beef. It's just really, lasagna is the one kind of a thing to make where you can make it your own. Yeah, so. I'm so intimidated by lasagna most of the time. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, yeah. I've only so, made it maybe twice in my life. Really? So this yeah. will this is yeah. gonna help you. It smells so good. Um, I'm trying to think. Sorry, I'm gonna get in front of the camera okay. for a minute. So we're gonna wrap it up for a minute here, and then we'll come back and we'll make our cashew cream. Show you how to do that. Yay. Yay. Good. Right back. <laughs> The day that JD was injured, I had woke up to a odd phone call. It was the military calling to tell me that he had stepped on an IED. My role in the Army was I was an infantry scout. I was a squad leader for a recon element. The Army doesn't really prepare you for injuries. They either prepare you for the soldier to come home or not to come home at all. They don't prepare you for the in-between. There's things that I do for him that is considered caregiving that to me is considered just loving him. The day I got injured, she got wounded as well. And the veterans wouldn't be the men that we are and the women that we are today if it wasn't for our better half helping us every direction we go. The Coalition to Salute America's Heroes helps severely wounded or disabled veterans just with basic needs such as emergency financial aid. For our family specifically, they tremendously helped us out with employment through their Heroes Thinking Heroes program. Visit saluteheroes.org to learn more. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> um, we are going to make our cashew cream. 
Yay. This is I kind can't of wait for this part. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about this, but this is going to represent our ricotta portion. Nice. Mm -hmm. We have all our ingredients. We've sauteed the turkey, sauteed uh, zucchini mm -hmm. and mushroom. Mm -hmm. The other one yeah. will just be... Um, Although, don't hesitate to do this. The other one that we're sauteing is the strips of zucchini. Oh, right. They don't yeah. have mushroom, but you could pick some out yeah. if you want to throw sure. some in. Sure. Okay. So these are our three different lasagnas Yay. we're going to make. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put... Oh, there's a reason these taste a little soggy. And you can see they kind of look soggy. So mm -hmm. a couple things. One, I buy the pieces. When I know I'm going to make cashew cream, I buy the pieces. They're cheaper. Um, yeah, if you right. buy whole ones are so mm -hmm. expensive. I buy raw, mm -hmm. and I buy the pieces. So I get those at Trader, Trader Joe's, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Myers might have them too, um, around I don't here. Know if they're raw, but yeah. Maybe. Yeah, but you want them to. You want to get them raw. You, know, I, okay. you probably don't have to get them raw, but I just, just like taste to. Taste different. Um, so we're gonna put them in here. These so and I soak them. So now you may have heard me say soak almonds overnight for my um, almond milk, but these don't take as long because they're not as a hard, there's not, so, oh, they're they're not such porous, a hard Oh, they're more porous, right, yeah. yeah, right, right. So, yeah, yeah I was just gonna grab these. Oh, they are, they are kind yeah. of soft and yeah. soggy. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So how long did you soak them? And so, did you put salt or anything nope, in the water? No, nope, nothing's just in the water. water. Just, okay. just a quick soak about maybe, um, you can do it for as li little as an hour, but these uh -huh. were probably soaked for about three. Okay, interesting. Okay, so to this, all we're really going to do is add water. I'm going to ask our off-camera assistant <laughs> to get us some water. Oh, would that please? be Connie? Noodles. <laughs> and th this part, we can add eggs. However, it works fine without eggs. If you want to keep this completely vegan, you wouldn't add the eggs. Okay. So, and again, vegan would mean just using the veggies. Thank you. And not... Any meat. animal product. Yeah. Right. Okay. So this is this is no animal product. Right. This is no animal product. Okay. And those are gluten free. Okay. Could you do tofu instead of turkey? Could absolutely do tofu. Chorizo that fake turkey. chorizo. Yeah. Turkey? Oh, uh, it's fake. Yeah. A chorizo. A chorizo. I'm gonna start mm, just. I think by tofu. There's all kinds of meats out there that are vegetable based or. Oh, okay. Fake just meat. keep in mind that that's all processed. And it's sure the is. same thing with these cheeses. They're processed. Pretty processed. So you, you yeah. know, yes, it's nice to have an alternative, mm -hmm. but you don't want to eat a lot of processed food. So the best thing to eat, of course, True. is things that are just yeah. in their natural You're state. Right. Yep. It's just something to keep in mind. So this mm -hmm. is um, the processed <laughs> Parmesan <laughs> cheese that we're going to add okay. to this, too. Oh. Yeah. And then... So about a cup? Oh, yeah, that's the other thing yep. is I didn't say any Measurement. amounts. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, Wait. I don't know. Oh, well, we'll figure that out I'll later. Just duck when it comes by. <laughs> yes, we will duck. Um, yeah, I didn't measure anything out, so just some. Some of this, some of a, that. Half oh, a nice. cup of that. And I know I actually have a nice. lot of cashews in here, so this is going to make a ton Looks of cream. Looks like maybe two bags of, of Trader Joe's cashews. It's actually just one bag. Really? It's a whole wow. bag, though. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just adding the things that we like to eat. Some garlic ah, powder. Sure. And that was oregano, this. right? Turn that off. One egg so far. One egg so far. Um, and I added some water. Add, start with half a cup. You can always add okay. more of the, the liquid. So we start mm -hmm. with a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is going to go on top. So we're going to set that ah, aside. Got it. Um, this is Let's some ground or some dehydrated onion. Mm. And we're going to go over here and we're going to... Let it rip. Oh, look, our cupboard's open. <laughs> That's where whatever that was came from, I'm sure, out of your cupboards. <laughs> okay, we're going to be noisy here for a minute. I'm going to add a little bit more water. As you can see, it's... Oh, it's kind of sticky. Hold a minute. So we're looking for the consistency of ricotta. So let's see how we got here. Let's stir it up a little bit and we'll run it through. It looks like pretty good. Like it might be enough liquid. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna blend it one more time. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to this too. That, a little bit of salt. Cause you know, this stuff does have salt in it. So, so on everything but you know what, you're just gonna taste as you go. Always important to do. And let's see what it's like. Okay, I say it's good enough. Okay. So now let's just check it out. It's nice. a little bit lumpy, but it's okay. There's actually a couple of pieces of cashews that are in there. So it's you might okay if you know what you're eating, that's yeah. fine. So, and some people like that. So what you want to yeah. do is always tell someone nice. what's in your ingredients uh, just sure. in case they're um, not sensitive. Yeah. So right. this, this would be one of those things yeah. that you want to make sure. It's so beautiful. It's really wow. smooth down yeah. here. Yeah. That's so, pretty. Yeah, you have to taste it. Mm -hmm. See what you think, and I'll have to taste it too because, like I said, if you don't taste your stuff, how are you going to know if it's yep. any good? Whether it needs so you just salt or taste too as you go salt along. Or, yep. Cashew cream. Good. Look how pretty. Wow. Perfect. That's like the perfect consistency. Yeah. Hold so that. So we look at that. Wow. We don't um, need to add the other egg. Amazing. Does it taste like? Um, cheesy? -ish. Yeah. It tastes like hmm. yeah. the cheese that you want in your it really lasagna. Is, it tastes so good. Would you like mm -hmm. to taste mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, another mm. thing you could add to this, I, don't, I won't take it out now because we don't we're running out of time, but is uh, nutritional yeast. You ever use it? Uh-uh. It okay. tastes just we'll like cheese. We'll have to talk about that. Okay. Yeah, oh. another episode maybe. We have six <laughs> minutes. Okay. So now, Ooh. in six minutes, we are going to put this together. Okay. Which one do you want to do? Uh, I want to do the vegetable one. Okay, I'm going to put that by you. Okay. I'll take this to so do So you put the veggies next? Anything you want, girly. Uh, it's it, anything <laughs> goes, huh? Go. Yeah, anything goes. Okay, this I'll do it really fast, too. Yeah. So I'm going to add some meat to this one. And then don't forget to add your pasta in between. Okay. Another variation that you all might want to try if you're keeping it kind of gluten-free, not gluten-free, but light carbs, is you might want to eliminate some of the layers. So it's really up to you. Um, if you want to eliminate... Do I put sauce on top of this or sauce sure. on top of that? Anything goes. Yes. Anything goes. Yeah, she's going to put a layer of that. After she gets that, I'm going to put a layer of ricotta after I put a layer of the noodles down. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, shook up here. I know. Get it done. Get it done! Okay, and then we have a ricotta spoon. One for you. Okay, sauce. I'm gonna and add that ricotta. on it. Oh, ricotta. And then the sauce? Okay. Sure, and it, like, again, it's really up to you. I had sauce in my meat, ah. so that may be, but it truly doesn't matter. What matters Gosh, is that it is tastes so cool. good. And it will look so. This is this is amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's unbelievable! Just, and my son, who's gluten free, dairy free, loves this. He's like, "Hey, yeah. are you making?" So oh, I'm going to add Looks another lovely. layer of this because we do want all the carbs in this one. And I'm just going to um, add one more because we do want to save a little bit for over. We have another one we can make, um, and I'm going to do another layer of meat. Here we go. You got, you're good on the sauce. Yep, that's mm -hmm. perfect. And then I'm gonna do one of these, another perfect. one of these. And it, you know what, this is so fun to do with kids too. <gasps> kids would yeah. love doing this. And you know what, if they say, I don't like mushrooms. Okay, mm -hmm. what veggies do you like? Even, you could even Carrots. put in broccoli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I'm going to put a little bit more of this and I'm just gonna just layer it a little bit um, sporadically and not, because I do want to save some for our last one. Okay. And then I'm going to put some sauce on this, the top, like this. And then, what do you
what do you want to do next? Um, I could just sauce? sauce and then um, grated cheese. Okay, yep, that's what I was going to do too. Okay. Okay, so the grated cheese, I'm going to use, this is gluten-free as well. No, not gluten-free, dairy-free. <laughs> so here's this one. So this one has ground turkey breast, very healthy alternative, and um, gluten-free pasta and dairy-free cheese. All dairy-free. Going in. Woo. Here you go. You can have this one, too. Okay. Yay, that's fun. Awesome. Thank you. And then how long do you cook it for? So now we're going to probably cook it for about 30 minutes-ish. We'll see. See how it all... And we're going to take this one. I'm going to put it in another bowl. It's amazing how many bowls we use, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for dishwashers. Yeah. So this one was sautéed. This might, this could give you more of the appearance of that lasagna noodle look. So the other thing you could do with this one is not use any pasta. And these could be your noodles. Ah, uh, true. So the other way to cut these, now Terry did slice them, but another thing you could do is slice them really thin using this. Oh, like a um, ban mandolin? Oh. Well, I, yeah, a mandolin oh, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. but this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will yeah. make them okay. nice and thin too. I've done okay. that for my veggie lasagna. Oh, that's a good idea. Can I add this yes. for you? Please. Okay. Put that on, and then you can put these on. Okay. Let's put them on like as if they were noodles. <gasps> They're beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. So we did it. Look, Three this variations. Is fantastic. I can't we can wait do, till it's If done. we think of other ones, we can do other ones too. In another In another episode. world, another life. Should I add Yay. this? Yay. Sure, why not? Okay. I'll add this and then maybe we'll put noodles on top. Sure. Do you want to do another layer of um sure. of the ricotta? Yeah, let's do that because I'm yeah. running out of sauce. Okay. All right, we're going to finish up here. And then we will have our wonderful lasagna to try Can't wait. in about 30 minutes or less because it's TV time. Wish you could smell it. Yeah, it smells really good in here. Again, cashew cream, not bad. Imitating amazing. ricotta. Wow, that's amazing. Very good. Thank it's you. It's a beautiful we'll be thing. Back.